Okay, so let me be clear about a learning environment. I think it operates at multiple levels. Uh, we've just been completing um, a major uh, international study through OECD called Innovative Learning Environments. And we've got some fantastic examples um, of uh, creative, vibrant, amazing uh, learning environments with young people actively engaged in real work, applying that work, having real audiences, consumers of their products and services. I mean, and by the way, of course this varies from early childhood through stages or ages. But in many ways now, we are seeing learners combining together across age groups. And so we've got learning environments that are like schools. There's a lot that are not like schools in the way in which we might have thought about it. So if I use the word school now, I want to think about it in multiple ways. And some of that, I think, is technology charged. Some of it uh, does not rely upon uh, that level of sophistication. But in addition, there's other levels of learning environments now. We've got systems and subsystems that we've been talking about. And my reference to an ecosystem was to say, can we now see learning environments as being the places where, going back to the opening question that you asked me, what are we trying to nurture, grow and develop? And can we have environments that are really supportive of young people?